in this video we will learn about clustering module and setup first of all we need to import the data set let's import the data set from pycaret dot data sets import get underscore data I'm going to import the jewelry data set which is available in pycaret I'll make one variable jewelry and in this variable I will store the data set I'll call get underscore data and inside this I have to pass the data set name and the data set name is jewelry now this will load the data set in a Jupyter notebook and this data set is going to be used for clustering so this is the data set we have information such as age income spending score and savings we can explore this data set we can check how many rows and columns are present we will see jewelry dot shape so this data set contains 505 rows and four columns we can see the four columns here first second third and fourth we can look at the top five rows and bottom five rows so we will say jewelry dot head and these are the top five rows 0 1 2 3 and 4 we can also look at the bottom five rows we will say jewelry dot tail and these are the bottom five rows the row numbers are 500 501 502 503 and 504 we can also look at the column names we will say jewelry dot columns I have made a spelling mistake I have to type here E and these are the column names which we can see here in the data set also age income spending score savings this data set is mainly for clustering and it is given by pycaret the next thing is we have to import the module so let's import the module import module from pycaret dot clustering import start import star now the next thing is we have to do setup and setup is extremely important in pycaret once you do the setup then you can start developing your machine learning model so let's do that i'll make one variable clu1 and i will call setup inside this i just have to pass the data set name and here my data set name is jewelry because you can see here that i have stored this data jewelry in the variable jewelry so i will pass this variable name i'll copy this variable name from here i'll go here and paste it here in place of data set now i'm going to run this code let's execute the code here you can see that I have got some output initiated the time at which it was initiated and it is initiated at 22 is to 38 is to 53 the status is pre-processing data and I have got one message here you can read the message following data types have been inferred automatically if they are correct press enter to continue or type quit otherwise so it is asking me whether the data type of these variables are correct and if they are correct i have to press uh, enter or otherwise i have to type quit here since this data set is available internally by pycaret so the data type is going to be correct so i'm just going to press enter here i have pressed enter here and now you can see i have got so many things in the output so in the output i have got two columns description and value the first thing is session id and the value is 3465 session id is similar to seed function where we use seed function to reproduce our results so session id is similar to seed function then we have original data it tells us about the number of rows and columns in our data set we have 505 rows and four columns we can check here also uh, here you can see that we have also checked the shape of our data set we have 505 rows and 4 columns that is what it is given here 
then we have missing values and it is said to be false because there are no missing values in our data set it is talking about numeric features and it says that all the four features are numeric uh, let's go and check and you can see that the first one age is numeric income is also numeric spending score it is also numeric savings is also numeric so that's why we got numeric features is equal to four categorical features zero because we don't have any features which is categorical then ordinal features false we don't have any ordinal features cpu jobs use gpu log experiment we have imputation type numeric imputer categorical imputer normalized transformation transformation method pca pca method pca components so there are so many things available in this setup and once you complete this setup the next part is building a clustering model in PyCaret, and that we are going to see in the next video or in the upcoming videos this video was about importing modules and doing setup in PyCaret. if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching